What's going on, fellas? Jimmy the Spider here, of course, joined by my partner, as always, Leroy Cannibal. It's the Super Bowl, big guy. Here it is. The big day is here. We're out here in Glendale, Spider. And of all the places you want to celebrate, uh, Arizona's probably going to be one of the last ones you want to do. It's just hot and full of old people, but what are you going to do? you got to play where they tell you where to play. Oh, yeah, Trey Lance down there trying to pump up this crowd. I'm pretty sure they're pumped up. It's the Super Bowl, but, you know, it's his moment. He's a young man, and um, I'm in no way jealous that he has accomplished much more in half the time than a man such as myself. Well, now that you've had your pity party, we can get into the records here. Chargers, an impressive 14-3 and in the regular season, but what about the 49ers? Undefeated, chasing history, chomping at the bits to be the first team to ever go 20-0 in a season. Well, if anyone was going to knock off San Francisco, it would be L.A. As these two teams met in the regular season way back in week 11, San Francisco edged them out by six points, which was their smallest margin of victory for the whole season. Play action got a couple chargers screaming off the right side. Trey Lance barely gets rid of it. And what about this offense, Spider? 46 points per game. It's the best offense in the league. And what's really scary about them is they don't kind of lean one way or another. You see, they put up big rushing numbers and big passing numbers. So you can't really key in on one. But L.A. has a decent start here. Chance to get them a three and out to start the game. Lance from shotgun. Joey Bosa breaking free, and he's going to finish the play. Look, everybody already knows what a monster of a man Joey Bosa is. He's got the strength of a minotaur, the agileness of a garage rat, and the likability level of a sexy woman's foot. I mean, this, he's the whole package, Spider. Chargers taking the football over for the first time. Midfield, four-yard Eckler run on first down brings us to second and six. Testing the sideline, so Mike Langford broken up. Would have been a tough catch. And speaking of tough, how about this offense? It's no slouch, Cannibal. Oh, absolutely. The third best scoring offense in the league. You know, any offense that can score 42 points a game, just anything over 40, is an incredible feat. What is up with you and feet today? I mean, it's the, the foot references need to stop. I mean, it's great to be back in the booth with you, don't get me wrong. It's been a little while, but it's, it's kind of weird the things you want to bring up after a little bit of a hiatus. Third and six, Emmanuel Hall in motion. Quick read to the left, an easy first down, great possession catch. And let's get to these coaches, actually. We forgot to give the due to the Super Bowl coaches. Coaching LA is Jern 88. And now for San Francisco, Nightblade 23. Oh, yes, of course. A huge congratulations to both coaches. Way to go. Way to get here. Chargers, another drop back. Great blocking from the line. Throwing up to Keenan Allen. Taking it down, and he's going to get in. Got to love that animation. Chargers up seven early. Now ball back to San Francisco. They are driving a couple catches out of Kittle and Devontae Adams, putting them at the 41 here. Trying to answer back, Cannibal. It's going to be the first run we've seen all game. Elijah Mitchell juking back up the middle. Nice little run there, nine yards. And L.A.'s got one of the stoutest scoring defenses in the league, uh, picking up sixth for the entire year. Very impressive. And we'll see what they have dialed up here for the second and in inches. San Francisco, I know you're down right now. You're not used to playing from behind, but just keep doing what got you here, and you'll be right back in this one. Trey Sermon taking his hand off a big hole, a wide receiver down the field, and a broken tackle. Brandon Ayuk uh, completely misses his block. He goes for uh, <laughs> the wrong guy in the scheme, I would think. And Trey Sermon says, no big deal. I'll just rag doll this 210-pound linebacker right off me. Big score. San Francisco to tie the game. It's a great start out here in Arizona, Spider. Uh, you know, the worst thing is you, you hype up the Super Bowl all year long, and then you just have to watch some snooze fest blowout. I don't think that's what's going to happen here today. Chargers with the ball back after an Eckler 14-yard run. They're almost at the 40. Looking right, Emmanuel Hall all by himself. A beautiful throw. What was that, Cannonball? Cover two? 
Well, honestly, it looked like the play was drawn up as cover no one, or at least don't cover Emmanuel Hall might be the name of that play. Pretty uncharacteristic from San Francisco. You see they got that top 10 defense, giving up 30 a game. They got to burn whatever play call that was because that was extremely easy. And a nice chunk play of 32 yards for L.A. Second and six, play action. Ball to the fullback. You don't see that much. Big Papa taking that one for the first down. I love when they incorporate the fullbacks, Cannonball. Can't get enough of it. You know, San Francisco, one of the only teams in the league that employs a fullback, so it's the Chargers kind of giving them a taste of their own medicine. I love the call as well. First and 10, Eckler hitting the hole perfectly, breaking a tackle and running hard, setting up L.A. for another TD chance. From the four, going to give it back to Eckler. He's going to break through. Another touchdown for L.A. And can I just say how great it is to have you here, big guy? I mean, I don't know if I should make this public. Well, if you're saying that, you probably shouldn't. But uh, I didn't think you were going to be here. I pulled this big lug out of a bar about two hours before game time. Bartender said he's been there for 12 days straight. Hasn't even went home. Been sleeping in the back. Spider, stop airing my business out. It doesn't matter that I'm still technically a little tipsy doing this game. What matters is we got two coaches who want this immensely, have worked hard all year to get to this point. I mean, you're trying to make, you know, some extracurricular storyline. Listen, if it involves me, I'm not into it. Back to the game, San Francisco. Tough third and nine here in their own territory. See if they can pick it up. A lot of time back there. Stanley Tall delivers a strike to Max Williams. Talk about a chunk play. That's 30 yards right off the top, big guy. Man's been doing it all year long. Might have won the MVP. I don't know. We don't pay attention to awards here on this show. But look at the numbers. We are numbers guys. And Trey Lance has just dominated and probably taken lives. Probably taken some defensive coordinators' lives. Just not even wanting to face the young man on Sundays. He's a superstar. He's a messiah. And just to break it down at the simplest level, listen to his name. Trey Lance. One of the coolest names I've ever heard in my life. Besides Leroy Cannonball, of course. Now 49ers setting up shop at the 44 after that big splash play. Hand off to Sermon. This looks promising. A big hole. Chugs forward for 10 yards. Trey Sermon, five rushes for 49 early on. Of course, got that touchdown. First and 10, LA looks to be some type of zone blitz here with the slot receiver manned up. This one to the backup, Mitchell. He's got a lot of space too. An early dive, bad juke out of Jernigan and makes up for it with a bang, bang, use a hit stick. Check that one out. Goodness. Gotta love the hit stick, Spider. It's inspiring to, to watch men just beat the crap out of each other. I don't know how else to say it. It's why this sport is so popular, I believe. First play of the second quarter, second and 10. Just inside the red zone, Lance dancing around a lot of time back there. Now rolling left, fires it up. It's a touchdown on a user playmaker. Nightblade 23, coach, what a throw. The extra point goes through and it is tied up again. How does Lance even generate enough torque to throw this ball? He's throwing off one leg, essentially. Future QBs, do not look at this footage. Do not try to emulate this footage. Chargers looking to answer back. Got Herbie in the shotgun. Another target for Hall. Got him on the comeback and beat him. Oh, that's demoralizing as a user. To get okie doped, swerved back inside. Emmanuel Hall had a heck of a year. Got the 1,400 yards. Biggest one is the 21 touchdowns leading the team. And anytime you could lead the team in touchdowns, when you got that big boy Keenan Allen on the other side, that's pretty impressive. Chargers now second and 10. Going to give it to Ekela. Huge hole up the middle. And it's going to be enough to get the first. Look, I know we said we weren't going to talk about it anymore, but I just want to know the reason. Like, why were you in that bar? I thought you weren't supposed to drink anymore. Before I say anything, I just want to get this out. It's allegedly, Spider, allegedly you saw me in a bar. 
Allegedly, the bartender said I was staying there. And allegedly, I was drinking two dozen shots a night. Well, the real reason is, Spider, look at my life. I mean, I'm calling video games. I'm a voiceover man for video games. I mean, that's... This is not... I played nine years in the NFL, Spider. This was not my dream job. Hey, don't start crying to me. I mean, at least you had your time in the sun. I've just been eating bologna my whole life. I, ne I never was rich, Cannibal. I never was successful. Don't get me wrong, I like this gig, but... I mean, you are crying to the wrong person. I don't cry, so don't ever say that again. Six minutes left in this second quarter. Chargers, very big third and three. Knocking on the 49ers red zone. Herbert, another drop back, another clean pocket, and it's too easy. Mike Langford again, middle of the field, wide open. Offensive line is terrific for L.A. in this first about quarter and a half. Got the big boys down there, all those big bodies. You know it's going to be a run. It's given to Eckler. Nice cut back inside, but a good recovery by San Francisco. Can they put up a stop here? Second and goal from the two. It's an RPO and the bubble screen is money. Emmanuel Hall getting in. And L.A. has played perfectly on offense. Three drives, three touchdowns. They've looked unstoppable, Cannonball. Absolutely no doubt. And it's exactly how they have to play if they expect to knock off the undefeated San Francisco 49ers, the undefeated Nightblade 23. You know there's some bad blood there. You know there's some trying to avenge that Week 11 loss. I mean, they almost took that perfect record back then. And they're hitting him in the mouth here today. Second and 11, four and a half to play here in the first half. Trey Lance on play action. Got an open Devontae Adams. Might want to cover that guy. Well, he's the guy that everyone's been trying to defend all season and have been impossibly failing at. 23 touchdowns on the year leads the team. So you know that he is a absolute favorite of Trey Lance and a big reason why Trey Lance has had such an explosive year. And you would think, if possible, San Francisco would love to take this ball to half, not allow L.A. to touch it again. But I'm no time management expert, that's for sure. Yeah, Spider, if you were better at a... Hold on, we got Trey Sermon, another big hole for the young man. Each offense just kind of doing whatever it wants. Doesn't matter if it's run or pass. It's just a big chunk play no matter what. But yeah, you can hardly talk about the merits of time management when we look at what a shamble your life is and always has been. Maybe you need to learn how to manage some time better. Trey Lance sticking back there from shotgun, reading the defense and getting taken down. Who is that? Oh, I see what you're doing. You're trying to get me to say the hard name. I'll do it. Uchenna Unwosu. God, I probably butchered that. You know, for your information, I already poo-pooed on myself, so it doesn't really mean much. Like, I already said that myself. I'm no time management expert. But you don't have to pile on. But the Chargers certainly are as the 49ers gain nothing on second down and now face a very improbable third and 22. Trey Lance going underneath to the angle route. Of course, always have to shout that out. Love the HB angle route. And looks like they're just going to kick a field goal here. They, I mean, what are they going to do? No real choice here. It's fourth and 10. It's a two-minute warning. You got to get points here. And that is exactly what they're going to do from 48 yards out. Mariota the hold, and it's money. Four-point game out here in Arizona. Yeah, and unfortunately for San Francisco, yeah, you get points, rah, rah, sis, boom, bah. But you cannot stop L.A. to save your life. They've done everything they wanted to do all game long. And how about this? We're coming off an 11-yard Eckler run. Play action, Herbert, an extended rollout here. Throwing the deep ball, double coverage, and he still comes down with it. Keenan Allen coming up with a spicy dynamite play. 47 yards for the young man. Spicy dynamite, huh? You're, you're gonna keep that in, you like that. You're actually choosing to use that phrase. Okay, whatever, I shouldn't 
be saying anything. What I should be talking about is how sick does Nightblade 23 feel here? You gotta love the young man. He clicks on, and for some reason, the animation doesn't really animate. This could have easily been a pick, and it's a very, uh, a very gambly throw. But to the gambler goes the spoils, as it pays off for LA. And a three yard Eckler run brings us to second and seven. Clock still ticking. I love how Jern 88 is handling this. Not getting too excited. The moment's not too big for him. Throwing underneath. Oh, Daniel. Ooh. Hoo -hoo. Could have changed the shape of this game. I think the ball placement by Herbert was just low enough, just outside enough, because this was a pick six. If it was any other spot. And a big play here, third and seven. San Francisco needs a hold here. Another clean pocket and an open ball, Emmanuel Hall. LA having their way with this San Francisco defense. Just drive down like it ain't no thing. Covering 75 yards in under a minute and a half. Takes five plays, Cannonball. It's just, this offense is clicking today. Got 26 seconds, you got two timeouts, you can make something happen here. At least get three. Another angle route for Mitchell. This is gonna pick up about 11 and use one of those timeouts. So let's see, you need about 25 yards or so. I mean, I think getting a touchdown is just, that's being too greedy. You might end up making a bigger mistake than you'd want to, but you gotta get three. First and 10, Lance scanning, doesn't see anything he likes, gonna take off and he's got a lot of space, Spider. He is a slippery mf -er. Smart to get out of bounds, pick up the 15 and stop the clock. Now from the 43, 13 seconds left, uh, yet again, another uncovered angle route. During 88, you might wanna draw up a, a zone there or something. Getting carved up by that, by Mitchell, the backup. And now got plenty of yards for the field goal. Look for the seams here, Spider. This is a prime seam spot. Lance with the snap. He's got to make a decision quickly. And this ball's going to get caught in bounds. What a very lucky break. The pressure gets home for L.A. and forces him. Yeah, I don't know if he's out of the pocket there, Cannonball. He might have had to throw that ball or we have grounding. Luckily for them, they get out of bounds. They get a try here for 43. Puts it through and keeps them in the game. Unbelievable how big that is for them. And that's going to take us to halftime. Of course, got some words from our, you know, quote, sponsors. I don't even want to be associated with whatever's been running at halftime. But, you know, we got to keep the lights on here. So you are watching the NEFL back after this. Do yourself a favor and take a look at the new product that is sweeping the nation. It's the corn cob butt swab. I just love the feeling of clean that I get from it. Hey, at the end of the day, things can get pretty messy back there. It's so nice to have some peace of mind that my brown eye is squeaky clean. Combine this high speed circular action with one of your favorite side dishes and you've got a product that will turn your bathroom frowns upside down. And for the love of all that is holy, don't forget to apply our slick Parmesan butter lubricant before inserting. The best part is, after using it, that's one less thing I have to prepare for dinner. That buttery Parmesan lubricant is the perfect seasoning for that creamy, chunky corn. Well, what are you waiting for? Get the corn cob butt swab today! Hey, look, I guess I had some stray corn pieces up there from last time. Man, finally we get a product that we need. I've been saying this for years, Cannonball. We need a product that can clean your rear end, double as a food source, and thirdly, be associated in some way with corn on the cob. It was absolutely disgusting, but I will say you have been saying that for years. I mean, you've been talking my ear off about that idea. <laughs> kind of weird to see it come to fruition and you're not at the forefront of it. But it's been a good game, Spider. Uh, glad to be here out in Arizona. But 49ers, you need a stop. I mean, and hopefully on this drive. You don't want to be needing a late game stop. Just get it here. 
Second and nine now for Herbert. We've got a wide open seam route dialed up. I don't know if that guy was blitzing, if that's a blown assignment, but it doesn't get much easier than that. Backed up now, second and 13. Gotta think Eckler got stuffed on that first down. Now another pass from LA. The tight end seam down the field, Mike Langford. Possession catch. And we got some time, Spider. Let's get into Justin Herbert. I know Trey Lance's year was just so astronomical that it kind of overshadows Justin Herbert's, but I mean, he's had a heck of a year too. He got 61 touchdowns and 14 picks. I mean, this is the greatest statistical season of all time, if not for Trey Lance. Yeah, but Herbie will take lifting that trophy over the MVP all day, every day, any true competitor would. From the 26, Herbert drop back. Emmanuel Hall, nobody on him. We are seeing why he led the team in touchdowns. He's always open, especially the closer you get to the touchdown to the red zone area. San Francisco now really playing from behind here. The pressure from the edge. Lance gets the ball out to George Kittle and then tells him to get big. Oh, get some wood laid on him at the end of that play. Now San Francisco moving very quickly as they need to. Second and four, gonna hand this one off to Trey Sermon, bouncing around, kinda pinballing around. Not gonna get much, and in the first half, Trey Sermon, seven carries, 68 yards, and a touchdown. No slouch, I mean, he did his part. And really, it all comes down to that first three and out, Cannonball, from San Francisco. That's been the only mistake from them. Yeah, you're right. It was just that opening drive. They didn't get anything off it, and their defense refuses to play today. See if they can overcome it. Big third and two. Lance bobbing around back there. Finds the open man. That's going to be Kyle Juszczyk. Juszczyk. Never knew how to pronounce that. But again, another shout out to the fullback. Getting the fullback involved. That's San Fran's game. Brings me back to the days, you know, before social media, before your kids block you on Facebook, before you get death threats on Twitter. You know, the good old days, Cannibal. Oh, man, yeah, the good old days. Who could forget that? You know, terrible movie special effects. Uh, the AIDS epidemic. Princess Diana's death. Yeah, nothing but good things back in the day, Spider. 49ers in the red zone. Gotta have it here, guys. Four minutes left in the third quarter. Lance bouncing on happy feet a la Peyton Manning circa 2006, and he's bounced a little bit too much, Spider. He bounced his last check. A five-yard loss, and they're going backwards now. Gonna dink dunk to Sermon. It's gonna pick up a small chunk. Going empty, Spider. Devontae Adams, jump ball, easy. You can't give that much space to Devontae Adams in the red zone. He's gonna feast on you all day. Good read, coach. Putting you back in the game and going for two. I love it. Huge play here if they don't get it. It's, it remains a two possession game. Leaning on Trey Sermon, getting in untouched. Much needed out of San Francisco, but can they get the stop? Can they shut down this perfect game that Justin Herbert is throwing? First down, gonna give it to Eckler. Nobody wants to block shed. Quick seven, Eckler from the first half. 10 carries, 69 yards and a touchdown. Played almost a mirror half to Trey Sermon. And LA got a third and three, and they're gonna play it from the gun. Herbie, deep drop, non-existent pass rush. Emmanuel Hall, we've said his name a lot today. It's gonna be another splash. Five catches, 127 yards, two tutties. I mean, it's a big problem. You might wanna start covering that guy, but then again, you got Keenan Allen over there who will carve you up as well. It's kind of a pick your poison, and, and let me tell you, that poison is extra lethal today out here in Arizona. Second and nine. Herbert rolling left and gonna cut this back to the middle. A lot of space for number 10. A 17 yard scramble. And the Chargers and Jern 88 just continue to roll. Now second and 10, probably the last play of the third quarter. A play action, a gigantic sack. Just what the doctor ordered, Chris Westry. 
the biggest play of his life. And it's not like he had a bad season, not in the least, but I mean, this is the biggest play of his young career. It's not like San Francisco has played slouchy, it's just LA has played as perfect as possible. Let's see what Jaren 88's got up in the toolbox for a tough third and 17. I like the route combinations on the field, just deep stuff, huck it, chuck it, football. All right, from the 35. Getting out to the right, getting loose. Is he going to scramble again? No, he's going to chuck it to Langford. Get just enough for the first down. A tippy-toe catch and a backbreaker for San Francisco. They needed 17. They got 20. Herbert coming back after that sack, after that great read from Chris Westry. He said, oh, you've been watching film, huh? That's cool. Watch this. And breaks San Francisco's collective heart into a billion bits. I love it, ice water in the veins, Justin Herbert. Now a first down handoff to Austin Eckler. He had a pretty darn good first half, but he has been shut down here in the second half. Five carries for eight yards. No, it's been a great adjustment from Nightblade 23 coming out here in the second half, playing the run very well. Justin Herbert's had to earn every single yard this half. Seven minutes left, the snap's off. A very low ball to Guyton. Very safe throw. Sets up a manageable third and three. If ever there was a time for a turnover, it'd be right here. Gotta get stingy, guys. You cannot give up a touchdown here. Just for morale. I mean, heck, just for math's sake. Seven's more than three. So get it done, fellas. Herbie from the gun. It's just a three-man rush covered very well. Herbert running to the sideline, and he might have thrown this one past the line of scrimmage. He did, and that's going to put it at fourth and eight, and the Chargers are forced to kick a big hold out of this San Fran defense. Good call out of Nightblade, you know, dropping everybody. It's been one of the only defensive stops. I mean, it's been this is the sixth drive by L.A., and that's the first time they haven't scored a touchdown. So maybe they're on to something defensively. First things first, though, you got to go down and get a touchdown of your own. Hand off to Mitchell. Mitchell. Sorry, trying to do my best Joe Buck impression from the early 2000s. Uh, actually, a pretty darn good run. And that's why it's a great Joe Buck impression. You're going to snap your fingers off patting yourself on the back over a dated reference. Lance throwing to the slot, and it, the user was just a second late. Jern 88 read this from the beginning and almost yicked this and put the game on ice. He's a step slow. I know that Trey Lance's heart is in his nether regions, hoping that pass was completed. Still driving here now at midfield and going to give it to Mitchell. Can't get to the outside. A big tackle for a loss from Kevin Lyons. Oh, Kevin Lyons, Tigers and Bears, oh my. That's a heck of a football play. Because if you go back and watch the replay, there's nobody. Everybody's locked up on the outside. This could have been a house call. Five minutes left, you got all your timeouts. You don't want to rush, but you also can't be as methodical as you might like. Nobody on Trey Sermon, and he's going to have to force his momentum. Takes him out of bounds, Spider. This is a touchdown. Nobody's in front of him. That's got to sting if you're Nightblade. Looking for someone to get free, and it's George Kettle. The vanilla caboose. Going to get tackled inside the 10-yard line. Clock continuing to tick. And a first down handoff to Sermon. I hate the call, Cannibal. I think you got to do away with the handoffs at this point. It's a two-possession game. Bad call out of coach. And he's going to come back with another. Not a fan of this either, Spider. I mean, you see that now it's been a minute since we got down here. And we're only four yards closer to the end zone. Third and goal. They're going to double down with another handoff. If he gets to the outside, it's a touchdown. And how lucky are they that L.A. has to take an injury timeout there? Extremely lucky. You know, I don't like coming in here and poo-pooing on the coaches. Obviously, Nightblade is an elite Madden player. 
I mean, just look at the year, the incredible record and everything. But this was a brain fart down here at the goal line. And now it's not you're not even guaranteed to score. It's still fourth and goal. Why do you come down here? You got Trey Lance. He's touched 500 touchdowns. And you come down here and run. I hate it. I've said it enough. I'm sorry. Fourth and goal. Do a die for San Francisco. Finally a play action call. And, and what they should have done probably from the beginning. Get some through. Another ball for Kittle. And that's going to make it a three-point game. Can they get that stop, Cannibal? It's tough to say. I mean, we have said that they've locked up the run here in the second half, which is a huge component. You know, L.A. just wants to run this out. And they also held them to three on the last drive. I mean, it's possible. Anything's possible. Los Angeles, three short minutes away from being crowned champions. Do they have one more drive left in them? Second and 11. Wide open Guyton playing out there in the slot and staying in bounds. Tackled just before the first down. And we've seen that a few times today, Cannonball. Yeah, you know, San Francisco and Nightblade have been blitzing that slot guy a lot. We've noticed that slot has been open for a lot of the uh, very easy reads against Herbert. I mean, you got to send pressure. I'm not against it. And Herbert has been taking full advantage of it. Herbie from shotgun, a three-man rush out of San Francisco. Someone getting home, but the ball comes out just in time to Emmanuel Hall. First down, that's going to be the two-minute warning. And they're going to start collecting those San Fran timeouts. Oh, boy, if they had a quarter of a second longer, Herbert is dead in the backfield. And San Fran getting this ball back. Instead, he unloads the ball just in time. And like we've said, he's just played perfect all day. Can't say enough about the young man. I mean, that is a clutch test for the ages. And Justin Herbert just aced it. Flying colors. I mean, I don't think we have to get racial here. That's kind of, you know, I don't think we need to talk about colors and this and that. Doesn't matter as ethnicity. Spider, that's not what I'm talking about. Oh my God, you've never passed a test. You've never heard that phrase, passed it with flying colors. Why am I not surprised? San Francisco, you're almost out of chances. Get stiff or go home. Hand off to Austin Eckler, he's gonna get stuffed. We talked about it earlier. He has not had success here in the second half. It's so weird hearing the opposite of what I usually hear. What did you say, get stiff or go home? Yeah, I've always been told, get soft or go home. And they always add in at the end. Doesn't matter what you choose, you will not be invited to the next event. <laughs> Very gross, and I think it's, I think that might be illegal what you're talking about. We shouldn't be putting that on YouTube of all platforms. Second and nine. Another ball for Eckler. Can he break free? No, he can't. The timeout from San Fran. 127 left in this game. And they've done all they can, but can they contain Justin Herbert on third and five? Look, I'm not pulling for any team here. Uh, I have no bias unless, of course, I'm covering my guy DJ Jazzy Jet. But I would love to see San Fran punt the football, you know, get stuffed and punt the football just for the dramatic effect. I can't lie. First rule of having no bias is to never even bring bias into the picture, but I understand what you're saying, partner. I wouldn't be too upset with that scenario either. This is your play of the Super Bowl, third and five. Chargers in bunch, and Herbie from shotgun. Three-man rush, Herbert scanning. Gonna dump off to an open Guyton, it's a first down. It should be enough to win the game. I think the Chargers have just sealed it. I'm trying to do the math in my head here. That, that spot of the field has not been covered all night. Not surprising to see it here in crunch time. Again, be left open. And that will do it. The Chargers out here in victory formation, they've done it. They've knocked off the 19-0 San Francisco 49ers. And they will be your 2022 Super Bowl champions. A pretty darn good contest. You know, San Fran fought to the bitter end. We had so many, so many moments where they could have come up with something. What a season they had, but I mean, talk about this. 
a huge upset coming in here, beating the team that beat you in the regular season, that has beat everybody in the regular season and the postseason. You come out here and you play basically a perfect game offensively, and you had to do it. I mean, that's pretty crazy that L.A. played perfect. We see the quarterbacks sharing love. Got to be the number one and two MVPs for the year. We got the trophy coming out. Everybody putting their nasty, germy hands on it. COVID's not a thing. Not virtually, at least. But yeah, I, no, I know what you were talking about, Spider. They played as perfect offensively as possible, and they still only pulled it out by three points. I mean, they needed everything they got today. Justin Herbert lifting it up. Look at this young man, as poised as can be. And you're looking at it. The NEFL 2022 Super Bowl champions, congratulations to Journey 88. Our condolences to Nightblade 23. Yeah, to get us out of here, Spider. Thank you so much for watching. It's always so great having you with us. It's been a heck of a season. We kind of got called on mid-season and, you know, have had fun the whole way around. It's been a great ride. Hey, we're just thankful to be here. I mean, despite the big guy who I... Actually, I had to beg him to come here. I, hey, it's still fun. It's the hardest part is getting in the booth, Spider. But once you get here, I mean, it is the, the excitement. It's unmatched. I can't lie. It's more just when I sit back and think about it like, wow, I'm really voicing over Vidya. But who cares? A hundred more games. Bring them on. Let's go. That's going to do it for us. Jimothy Spider, of course, he's Leroy Cannonball in partnership with the NEFL. We'll see you next time. We out.